The smartphone industry is failing, and I don't mean that it's like gonna die out or anything, but there is one fundamental flaw that almost every single manufacturer is guilty of committing. Let's go to the drawing board. Arguably the first real smartphone was the first generation Apple iPhone. We are looking at a 3.5 inch 480 by 320p screen, the first version of iOS, four to 16 gigabytes of storage, a two megapixel camera, a battery that lasted about a day, and a thickness of 11.7 millimeters. Now let's look at the Galaxy S6. We are looking at a 5.1 inch 2560 by 1440p screen, Android 5.0, 32 to 128 gigabytes of storage, a 16 megapixel camera, a battery that lasts about a day and a thickness of 6.8 millimeters. And for good measure, let's look at the iPhone 6. It sports a 4.7 inch 1334 by 750p display, iOS 8, 16 to 128 gigabytes of storage, a 8 megapixel camera, a battery that lasts about a day, and a thickness of 6.9 millimeters. What's wrong with this picture? Smartphones have been constantly improving in every way except for battery life. And I say battery life very specifically because battery size has improved, battery technology has improved, uh, power optimization within the phone and software itself has improved, but the standard for battery life is still, sadly, one day. The original iPhone came out in 2007, and that was eight years ago. And I guarantee back in 2007, no one would have thought that by 2015, our phones still last only a day, but they do. But before I go any further, let's take a look at it from a broad perspective. The 2007 and 2015 Honda Accord have basically the same MPG rating. Clothing made in 2007 is going to feel very similar to clothing made in 2015, and if you bought an analog watch in 2007, it's not going to be that much better than an analog watch bought in 2015. You get the idea. But the difference between those things and smartphones is the type of industry. The technology industry in general requires constant improvement to stay relevant, and the smartphone industry specifically requires rapid improvement constantly to stay relevant. If a company stopped trying to reach the bleeding edge in terms of specs, they would lose popularity. Think about how popular Nokia was 10 years ago versus how popular it is today. So why haven't all the companies making phones with one day battery lives die out? It's actually pretty simple, it's because everybody is doing it, so it's hard to complain and not buy a phone with one day battery life when that's the only option out there. Back to the question of the video, why is the smartphone industry failing? And the short, simple answer is I have to plug my phone in every single night. And I know it's no easy task just to innovate battery technology and improve battery life, but I think companies should put a lot more focus on innovating battery technologies instead of just waiting for a breakthrough to come around and then utilize that breakthrough. They should find the solutions themselves. It may seem impractical to spend millions and millions on improving battery technology right now, but someday, hopefully very soon, a CEO from some company will walk out on the stage and say, two day battery life and the entire industry will change. And then we might see three day, four day, or even week long battery life because consumers want better battery and they are willing to make sacrifices to get it. I guarantee you. That's gonna be it for this video. It was really just food for thought, just trying to put it out there. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.